Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video of DBT series, we are going to create and use macros in our DBT project. So uh, initially itself, when I created the videos, I explained what exactly is a macro, why do we use it. And in today's video, we are going to create as well as use that particular ma macro. But, so let's move ahead. And before moving ahead, I do recommend all of you guys to connect with me on LinkedIn and as well as do subscribe to my channel in case you have not done that. So when we talk about macros, right? Uh, usually whenever there is any reusable piece of code that we can actually, uh, you know, compile as a macro. So when I say macro, it is nothing but it is a function. So just like in Python, you have functions. Similarly, you have macros in dbt, which is nothing but a reusable piece of code that you can, you know, write and you can call it n number of times. So today we are going to see how we can create a macro. So let me go to the project that we have. So if you see in this project, on the left hand side, you have something called as macros over here, right? Now in this macros, what I can do is I can create a new file because we want to create a macro. So let me call it as macro underscore is and then week day dot SQL. So this is a macro file that I have created. Now inside it, we are actually going to write that. now. If you look at this particular macro, now this is nothing but this is a macro. I have already explained the Jinja, uh, you know, syntax in my previous video. So that is why, you know, we are moving on to macro over here. So now you can see, I have already explained about this syntax, curly bracket and percentage symbol, right? This is nothing but it is an expression. Now inside it, you can write a macro, you can write a test, you can write a set, you, you know, you can write anything. Now, similarly, even to create a macro, you create this symbol, you know, uh, curly brackets and percentage symbol, and then you end a macro using end macro over here. Now, when you say macro is weekday, right? Now, macro is the keyword. Is weekday is the name of your macro. Whatever function you are creating, it is the name of your macro. And then date column is nothing, but it is an input to your is weekday, right? And then what you are trying to do you are actually using the basic functionality over here you can see extract day of the week from the date you are converting it to the date so you are taking in the date column you are converting it into date and then you are extracting the day of the week which day of the week is it right is it saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday right so and then it is saying extract the day of the week from date right and that extraction if it is in 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, then in that case, it will return you true. Otherwise, it will return you false. Now, this is what a macro is about here. So let me just save it and then let me just save it and then I will just compile this macro. Okay. So let me simply say compile my DBT model and then we will see the output. So here I want to explain you one more concept of this dash right so we have not discussed about this dash over here that why do we have this dash so um you know while the time it is running so this dash is nothing but it is um syntactical um you know it helps it helps in uh basically lining your code properly this is what i would actually explain so it it removes the extra spaces extra lines right it removes the extra spaces. It removes the extra line of the code from here, right? From the beginning and from the end. So if you have, you know, the output coming in with, you know, lines of spaces in between, then in that case, it will help you to remove that particular space. So this is what exactly a macro is. So basically there's nothing to do. That's why, you know, it has basically, uh, you know, said that there is nothing to do with this particular macro right now. Now, in order to use this macro, so here I have explained to you what is a macro, how do we create it? Now, how do we use it? Now, in order to use it, I have to use it somewhere, right? I have to use it in my model. So usually we uh, we will use it in models. So let me go to marts and then let me go to orders.sql. So now if I go to orders.sql, right? So you can see that what we are doing, we are referencing another uh, model over here and then we are selecting few columns out of it. Now here, let me create a new column and put it over here. Now, if you see in this new column, what I'm trying to do, I am trying to create a variable over here 
in this variable we have already discussed that, th that this double curly brackets is nothing but a variable inside this variable i'm calling the macro the name of the macro is weekday is weekday this is the name of the macro so if i if i go back this is the name of the macro and then i am saying i'm using created at right i'm using this particular created at date right from my orders table and then i'm putting that particular value inside this function so if i go back is weekday is expecting a date column so i'm passing in the date column over here and then i'm saying it i'm calling it as a weekday order and then let me just simply save it so what has happened over here i have created a new column over here which is going to tell me whether it is a weekday order or it's not a weekday order so the output of this orders dot sql so if i go to my big query so this was the orders table that we created earlier right so you can see order id order created at ship that delivered at return that order status and all these columns so now we have introduced a new column as well right so let me go and run my dbt model right so let me simply run my dbt model let me say dbt run minus s orders right that is the name of my model and hit enter so the moment i run this what will happen is you will see that it will reference my macro is weekday macro from my macro file over here macro is weekday and then it is going to create this column and what it will do it will pass in the created at date into this this created uh, this created date will get converted to date over here and then it is going to extract the day of the week whether if it is in 2 3 4 5 6 if it is in 2 3 4 5 6 it is going to call it as true otherwise it is going to mark it as false so now it has finished it now let me go back to my dbt and let me just simply refresh my dbt project that we have created now the moment i refresh it let me reopen it completely and you will see that it has a new column created which is a weekday order now let me click on preview over here so now if i click on preview you can actually see that it is it, it, it is saying weekday order false 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 right and it is actually passing in the value over here if it is a weekday order or not right this is exactly how your macros work in dbt i hope you understood this you guys can also try creating different types of macros this is the syntax curly bracket and percentage symbol similarly anywhere where you use double um, curly brackets this is nothing but this is the variable reference and how do you call a uh, you know uh, macro this is exactly how you call a call a macro using the double curly brackets itself you call it here we've had to pass in the column so we are going to pass in the column within quotes and this is how it goes so it is a very simple syntactical way of using a macro so i hope you like this particular video thank you so much for being till here but always remember to subscribe to my channel as well thank you so much for being till here